Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NCRT Maths with Bardeep. Today we are continuing our chapter, chapter number 9 of grade 8 that is algebraic expressions and identities. This is in continuation with the topic that I have already discussed in the previous video that is multiplication of algebraic expression. In that video I have done multiplication of monomial with monomials. Now we will study how to multiply a monomial with a polynomial. Polynomial means now it can be binomial and it can be trinomial. So indirectly we can say that we will learn how to multiply a monomial with binomial or how to multiply a monomial with trinomial. So in any case but whether it is binomial or trinomial we will use our property that is distributive property of addition over multiplication. So that means multiply each term of the polynomial by monomial and then add the products. That means we will combine the like terms and find our final answer. So here what it is I will explain. Suppose we are given one monomial as A and two B and C as our binomial. So how to multiply it using distributive property First, we will multiply A with B, that is A into B, and then we will multiply A with C, keeping this sign plus in between, that means A into C. After doing this, we will see whether there are any like terms, we will add or subtract according to our question and find our final answer. Here, if it is trinomial, then again we have to multiply our monomial with each of the term of trinomial. That is first we will multiply A with B, then this plus sign, so A with C and this last one as A into D. So in any case whether it is binomial or trinomial, keep one thing in your mind that we will multiply our monomial with each of the term of our given polynomial and then add or subtract the terms similar terms that we have already discussed how to do in our previous videos. So let's solve this with an example. Let me show you how to multiply a monomial with a polynomial with an example. So let's see what is given here. It is simplify this full polynomial and then find the value for y equals to minus 2. So what we will do is first we will solve it, simplify it and whatever answer we get we will substitute the value of y as minus 2 and then find our final answer. So let's see, it is, let's see the solution. This is 3y multiplied by 2y minus 7 minus 3y minus 4 minus 63. So what we will do is, we will multiply this with first, first term that is 3y multiply by 2y then this minus will come here remember your distributive property same we are applying here so this is 3y multiply by 7 ok so next is again see minus we will keep here we don't take this minus sign along with 3 because it will complicate the question so here we will keep minus as it is and multiply only this 3 with the internal terms of this binomial. So that means 3 into y first here and then here. So this minus will come here. Now 3 should be multiplied with 4. Okay. And then this minus 63 as it is. Clear? So now what we should do next? We will multiply these two monomials together. So 3 into 2 will give me 6. y into y will give me y square. Okay. Here it is. 3 into 7 is 21. Y here we don't have any variable. So y will be kept as it is. Okay. So minus. Whenever you have minus sign outside, don't forget to put bracket because whenever we will open the bracket, the sign will get changed. And if you don't put the bracket, then you will have wrong answer. Okay. So here 3 into y as 3y, this minus and 3 into 4 as 12, minus 63, correct? 
So here it is 6 by square minus 21 by 8. So now we will open the bracket. This minus when multiplied with 3y will give me minus 3y. This minus when is multiplied with minus 12. So minus into minus 12 will give me plus 12. Or you can do like this. Whenever you are getting with this bracket, opening the bracket, just change the sign of each and every term that is included inside the bracket. 3y will become minus 3y. Minus 12 will become plus 12. Okay. So here this minus 63 as it is. Okay. So here what I told you that after you multiply each term with the monomial, we will do addition or subtraction of the like terms. Okay. Let's find we have 6y square. Is there any term which has y square? No. So we will write 6y square. Okay. Here we have 21y, 3y. So are these like terms? Yes, because they have same variable with same powers. So that means we should first solve them. Minus 21, minus 3. So we will get minus 24 and y as it is. Okay. So now again both constants, they are also like terms. So we will do plus 12 minus 63. That means we need to subtract 12 from 63. So this is 3 minus 2 as 1, 6 minus 1 as 5. What should be my sign of the bigger number? So bigger number is 63. So we will get minus 51. Is it clear? This is the simplification of this expression. Now move to our second part that is find the value of this expression when y equals to minus 2. So let's solve it. We will write this expression again that is 6y square minus 24y minus 51. Okay. So we want y as minus 2. Add y equals to minus 2. So let's find the answer. So 6y square minus 24y minus 51 is equal to. Okay. 6 multiplied by y value. y value is minus 2. We will write here. It's square. We will write square. Next is minus 24 again y. Okay. So y is minus 2. And then we have minus 51. Clear? So let's see. We have minus 2 square or we can say minus 2 multiplied by minus 2. So minus minus will get cancelled. 2 into 2 is so that means 6 into 4. Now we will have minus 24 into minus 2. So again this minus and minus will make it positive. 24 into 2 is 48. So we will have plus 48. And then minus 51 as it is. Okay. So now see 6 into 4 as 24. 24 plus 48 minus 51. Correct. So now first add these two terms. What we will get? This is 4 plus 8 as 12. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 and 1, 7. So 72 minus 51. Let's subtract it. 2 minus 1 as 1. 7 minus 5 as 2. So 21 is our final answer. This is how we will solve our algebraic expressions when questions are quite complicated. I hope you understand how to solve this type of questions. See you in my next video in which I will solve the next exercise of this chapter. Thank you.